Hello, Daphne here with another video for you. This one is titled, An A Giraffe Named Daphne. True story. But I'll get into that a little later. On my last trip to Kenya, my friends and I had the distinct pleasure of visiting the Seldrick Wildlife Trust in Nairobi National Park. What an amazing organization this is. Their mission is protecting wildlife and the preserving of the national hab habitats in East Africa. This is such a worthy cause because many of these habitats are being threatened by the increasing population sizes that are expanding into the countryside, taking away some of the natural habitat that have long belonged to these magnificent animals. This was definitely a, a, on the top of one of my most memorable experiences. To see with my own eyes the work being carried out by this ch charitable foundation was a gigantic heartwarming treat. Saving these precious animals from certain death to me is a true gift to humanity. After all, hippos, giraffes, elephants, rhinos have been roaming East Africa for eons and eons. This is their home, and it's very important that everything possible be done to preserve and keep it so that they can live and survive for eons to come. And thanks to the Seldrick Trust, they are doing everything possible to preserve these natural habitats. You'll be glad to hear that the Seldrick Trust has entered into anti-poaching partnerships with the Kenyan Wildlife Service to protect these threatened animals. In addition, they are in a partnership with the Mara Elephant Project to detect and prevent illegal activities such as the stealing of ivory tusks from elephants and rhinos. Well, I can tell you in no uncertain terms that every time I see a picture or hear of another maiming of these wonderful, special, important animals, it makes my blood run cold. But thankfully, the Kenyan Wildlife Service conducts ambushes and arrests the guilty. Well, that's a very good thing. They also have aerial and canine teams that help them along the way. Also a very positive aspect of their keeping the animals safe. I am always glad to hear about any organization that is helping to keep safe these absolutely amazing animals that are such a treasure. They're just, there's no other way to describe them, but they are natural tre tre treasures of Mother Earth. I felt a deep, deep gratitude for the professional people at this wildlife orphanage, Refuge Trust. So many people working diligently to save so many animals. Their love of these creatures was so apparent. As I watched them, I was just, my heart was just warmed with, well, I guess I should say, they have such a love for these animals. I could just feel it and see it as I watched them. They are 100% dedicated to the well-being and survival of these creatures. One of the things that was great fun while we were there, let me get this next slide up, was these little elephants. Every day they are taken out into Nairobi National Park where they have a outing. Their outing lasts all day until it's time for them to come home. We happened to be there 
when this parade of pachyderms returned from their field trip with their trainers. And it was so much fun watching them come in one by one. There must have been, I'm saying, 20 or 30 of them all together. There are only four in this picture, but they kept coming and coming. And waiting for them was their caretaker with big bottles of milk for the babies. Oh, gosh, I just think that's the cutest picture. I'm sorry. I just, this was such a fabulous experience. Oh, and I forgot to mention that right behind them was this, I don't know, this ostrich that was also coming back to the orphanage. This imposter, well, I don't know what, what he, what they did with him once he got inside, but this unwanted visitor was certainly turned around and sent back out to Nairobi National Park. Anyway, I just thought that was cute, the way he followed those little elephants back home. And another fun thing about this orphanage is that there were a whole bunch of warthogs that were just roaming around, and I had the pleasure of following one around. Warthogs happen to be a favorite of mine. They are probably one of the ugliest animals in all of Africa, but for some reason they are full of personality, and I think they're, oh gosh, yes, cute. Another thing is wonderful about the activities of this trust is that on a daily basis they are roaming all over Africa looking for animals that have been snared in wires by poachers that are trying to catch them. And if they weren't seen and found and rescued by these dedicated volunteers, their fate would be certain death. I cannot believe that these entrapped creatures have been in the wrong place at the wrong time and are bound for are bound for the bound for a grave because there is no way for the, them to untangle themselves. Thanks to the dedicated shelter wildlife volunteers, these animals are given another chance at life. And I just think that is an amazing service they are giving to the preservation of animal life in East Africa. Okay, now to get on to something a little lighter and fun. I have to tell you that I enjoyed this experience thoroughly. During my visit and for a small dona donation, I had the treat treat of having a giraffe named after me. So somewhere halfway around the world, there is a giraffe named Daphne being cared for by a loving group of caregivers. And giraffe Daphne has every chance of surviving because of the tender loving care being given to her. And you know what, my dear friends that are watching this, that is such a happy thought for me. And maybe someday I'll get a chance to see a giraffe named Daphne. And I will be just thrilled beyond thrilled, not only to see her, but all the other absolutely incredible and amazing animals that are roaming the plains of Africa where a simple safari will absolutely take your breath away because seeing these animals in their natural habitat is a true gift in every sense of the word. And so I hope that all of you have a chance to go to Africa someday because remember the only trip you'll regret is the one you do not take.